What's going on fam? Welcome back to another video. We have another video for you guys today. So, what's going on fam? Uh, before we start today, I want to thank you guys real quick because we just hit a milestone of 8,000 subscribers. Um, every single time we hit like another thousand in subscribers or even a couple hundred, you know, like within the months and uh, you know, it just, it blows my mind. I want to thank you guys so much. You know, the support has been unreal with you guys. Um, you know, you guys dropping comments, you know, dropping a like, which, you know, uh, drop a like right now because you guys are going to enjoy this one. So, yeah, guys, uh, you know, I just want to thank y'all for all the continued support, man. You guys know I'm sponsored with Nitrous Express. You know, I haven't talked to him about this yet, but I want to do something special for 10K. And, you know, they, they're a really supportive company, and I feel like we could work together to do something to maybe get you guys a Nitrous kit or do a giveaway on a Nitrous kit. For uh, 10K subscribers, you know, I'll ask them about that. We can see. Um, there's no promises, but, you know, I have a really good feeling about it. Nitrous Express, if you're watching this, hit me up on an email. What, you, what, what do you guys want to do? But, yeah, man, today, you know, uh, I just got up. It's, it's my first day off, off of work. And uh, we have a little special something. You guys can tell from the title and thumbnail of this video. Um, we got some custom plates for the car, man. And this is my first time doing this. You know, it was like a little experience um, for this whole COVID-19 thing. Um, I wasn't able to go pick this up at the post office. They actually had to mail this to me, and I had to mail them the registration back. So, um, if you guys are wondering, I'm not sure if it's for every state, but here in Texas, it's 180 for a year, like 350 for three years, and then for five years, it's like 500 bucks or something like that. So, like the $500 one is like the most, you know, affordable. I mean, not affordable, but the most like bang for your buck money. You know what I mean? So you don't have to keep on registering it every single year. But um, I wasn't trying to spend $500 on a custom plate, you know, just drop $500 on, on a plate. I wasn't really trying to do that. So I got the year one, $180, bucks, and this plate is freaking sick, man. We also have the camera bag over here. You know, I got all my lenses and stuff in there right after, you know, we're going to take the car for a ride. Um, I actually got this. It's pretty sick. New. You guys know what this is. It's that pistol grip, you know, shifter. Hopefully, you know. To help me get them more crisp shifts, you know what I mean? Um, I got this from a, a, a subscriber. I traded him one of the shift knobs that I had, so shout out to you, bro. Um, you know who you are. So yeah, man, uh, we have a couple of things to do today. I'm gonna unveil this real quick. The reason why we're in the garage right now is because it's pretty windy here in the dope sea, and you know, I don't wanna kill you guys with wind noise. Yeah, man, without further ado, we will show you guys the new license plate. As you guys can see, excuse the dog crap on the ground, but as you guys can see, well, the wind kind of chilled out now, but the car is under the cover. And we will show you guys what is in the package right now. All right, boys, y'all ready? This is the reveal. Got the black Texas plates. Boom. Oh. I hope I live to see another day. It seems like I've been always fighting just so I can fucking hold my place Numb me like some Nova Kane I think I need you in my life, would it be better if I go away? I can go show you the way You always question what I'm doing like I don't want to see a better day I can make a better way I promise you a better life, I swear that it'll all be worth the pain Boom! How do you, how do you guys like that plate, man? I freaking love it. I love the black look that it gives the car. You know, it kind of ties in with the tail light, you know, the, the black vinyl and the top of the spoiler. But yeah, man, uh, the, just the two valve. Let me, let me get the plate real quick. The just the two valve plate, man. It, uh, you know, it means a lot more to me than just like, you know, just like a saying. Um, the thing about having a two valve, man, is you're always the underdog. And, you know, anybody can tell you this. You will always be the underdog when you're having a two valve. So, you know, if you win, you're like, okay, like you just got beat by a two valve. Or if you lost, you know, you can just be like, it's just a two valve. So, you know, to have a fast or a quick two valve, you know, that keeps up with other things, you know, like uh, Camaro SS's, you know, newer cars like that, you know, it's, uh, it's a really good thing, you know, com considering like these cars are fairly cheap now. And, you, you know, you guys can make power with a little bit of boost, which, um, 
that's the key word, a uh, boost. These cars do not, you know, they will not be fast. They will not be any competition with like newer cars without boost, man. So like, if I'm off nitrous, you know, my car's making about 280 horsepower, 305 foot pounds of torque off nitrous. Uh, probably at the track, you know, I'll do some work, but like roll racing, stuff like that, you know, I'm not gonna keep up with anything new. So, but with nitrous, you know, there's a lot of other guys out here that are like, you know, scared to run the two valve because, you know, it's just a two valve. <laughs> So yeah, man, I freaking absolutely love this plate. Let me know what you guys think about it. I love it. Um, I always catch myself saying this when I, you know, people are like, hey, what's done to it? I'm like, it's just a two valve, you know, it's a, just a two valve motor. You know, that's it, just a couple of bolt-ons, maybe a little bit of spray. Um, when I was at the track and you guys saw me beat that SRT uh, 392. He was actually like, hey man, what is that? Is that a Cobra? I'm like, nah, bro, like it's just a two valve. And he's like, man, that car is fucking fast. And you know, uh, <laughs> I always catch myself saying this, man. So that's why I wanted this plate. I freaking love this plate. Like I said, let me know what you guys think. If you guys like it, drop that thumbs up button. Help out your boy. Uh, we're gonna actually try to start this thing up real quick, man, because we haven't started in a while. Uh, hopefully, you know, it starts up this time. You know, the last time it was a bus. So let's check it out. You guys can see it's the polished look kind of matches the weld you know I wanted to get this thing powder coated to the car and match it white but you know as I'm as I'm sitting here you know I'm kind of I'm gonna be shifting like this I kind of like it like this but um, I don't kind of I don't like how it's angled this way I'd rather it to be straight up you know so I could grab it like this instead of like this so you know that's a good thing about this MGW is that you know it's really a I mean, that, that reverse is always hard to go in very soon but the MGW is really, um, you know, you can move it around a lot. You can move the handle up. You can move it back down more if you wanted to. But um, you know, I might keep it like that. I like how it's, you know, it's closer to my hand. Instead of a little knob, I have to reach further. You know, I kind of have long arms, so that's never been a problem. But hey, I could, I could see myself power shifting with this thing. All right, guys, I pull this thing out the driveway real quick. Alright guys, we just tighten up the back uh, locking screw with this little Allen, Allen key and we're going to take this thing for a little drive. <laughs> yeah, I think it feels pretty smooth, man. Oh, and the last guy in the video said He'll watch all the ads if I start wearing my seatbelt. So, safety first, boys. Oh. Yeah, man, this thing feels nasty, bro. I can even do the third to fourth like this. guys I just wanted to show you guys you know me rolling through the gears a little bit um, I don't have anything right now where I could do hard pulls with it um, but you guys will see me doing hard pulls at the track and stuff like that man so um, that's gonna do it go ahead and do it for the driving portion man when I'm done running these errands we're gonna get to the house and we could do a little Q&A man I told you guys we'll do the Q&A last video so we'll do that for you guys and then you know I'll get back at you all right, guys, so I told y'all I'd be back at the house, and now I am back at the house, but, you know, it was a couple days later, so, you know, we're getting this video out for you guys tomorrow. And it looks like Max wants to be on camera. Max, hey, say what's up to the subscribers. No? All right. <laughs> All right, guys, what's going on? 
We're back and we're in the garage now and it's time for a little bit of Q&A. So before we start this real quick, I want to send a big shout out to my boy Matt at Mav Motorsports. He's actually my homie. He's the one that gave me the uh, helmet that one time we went drag racing. And uh, I just wanted to do that real quick. And speaking of shirts, man, I got another drop. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for new t-shirts, new designs and stuff like that because I took the first run down. The first run sold pretty good, you know, for being how small we are here on YouTube. But um, this next run is going to be pretty sick. I think I'm going to do a hat. Let me know if I should do trucker style or like a flex fit style. Um, I just want my own hat with my own logo because I'm always wearing hats, man. Um, but I got new designs on the way. I think I'm going to go like a simple design like this on the left side and then like something big like that too so shout out my boy Matt you the man and if you guys aren't already go, go right now and go follow me on Instagram this is what I posted last time so you guys can get your um, answers on there go ahead and follow me on Instagram at 4.6 Chris your boy uh, go follow me man so you guys can ask next time okay so we will start on the first question Okay, what's next for the car? So, you guys already probably know about this. The next thing for the car is going to be the Cobra brakes. I'm gonna be ordering the Cobra brakes very soon. I'm gonna be doing drilled and slotted rotors, um, new brake pads, uh, stainless steel braided lines, and the Cobra brakes, man. So it's gonna be a pretty good brake upgrade, and it's pretty decent. You know, I'm gonna show you guys all how to do it and everything like that. Um, but that's next thing for the car, and then probably suspension, and then we're gonna be retuning for a 150 shot, man. So stay tuned for that, it's gonna be awesome. <sighs> would a 75 shot or 100 shot of nitrous damage a full bolt on three valve with stock internals and my simple question to that is no because my boy Juan as you guys know his name is stock three valve on Instagram this dude shot so many bottles of nitrous through his car and his was full bolt on cams three valve with a hundred shot it was pretty fast so you should be good man as long as you have a good tune um, good tune you know everything's done right and then you'll be alright Oh, by the way, if you guys are looking for nitrous kits, if you guys call Nitrous Express and tell them that I sent you guys, you guys will get 10% off your entire order. Just call them, they'll set you up with a kit. They're awesome guys over there, very helpful. Uh, just say 4.6 Chris from YouTube sent me and then they'll give you 10% off your entire order, man. So I never, I don't think I ever told you guys that, but a lot of you guys messaged me on Instagram uh, for that also. Would you be interested in throwing an on three turbo kit on this thing? If I went, uh, uh, if I went built motor, I'll, I'm definitely going a turbo. Um, a lot of people say, why not supercharger? Why not this? Why not that? I think turbos are just, you know, all around better and uh, more efficient than superchargers. And um, they're not so hard on the motor like compared to a root style supercharger. They just comes in all at once, kind of like nitrous. Uh, it takes a little while to build up, and then you know it's easier on timing components and stuff like that. So. And not just that, but it'll be better at the track, man. I'll put a two-step on the car, build up, boost the line, and <laughs> you know, that'd be nasty. Next question is uh, Grinch 2 Valve. Would you ever come down to Dallas again? Um, yeah, for sure, man. I love Dallas, but I'm not sure if I would be there anytime soon. Um, every single time I've been there, I've been there for like business or picking up stuff, you know, stuff like that. So um, not anytime soon. This one is from Luke Rab 10 If there's something you could do differently in your build, would you? And I get this question a lot, man, from you guys, um, saying, should I do full bolt-ons in my car? Should I do this? Could I do that? If I could do everything different, I literally would not have put any bolt-ons on the car, man. I probably would have just did, I probably would have just put a turbo on it or a supercharger on it and been done with it, man, because this NA route, it costed me a lot of money. The cams alone with the heads cost me like $1,500, not to mention the $800 in labor. Um, that's already a supercharger kit, man. So. You know, it's very pricey, but you know, that's the price I paid and um, you know, I, I learned, you know, you live and you learn. Uh, it's a fun car, I'm not, I don't regret it, but I'm just saying I would do it differently for sure. So, thank you for the question. Title.wavy, when, when are you getting tuned for the 150 shot? So you guys want to see that, man? Um, I'm pretty sure within the next couple of weeks. I'm very, very sure about that. Um, just get ready for that. Jerome underscore 76. Will the next build be a coyote or mod motor and will it be NOS or boosted? See, <laughs> I know you guys are interested in that. Um, I can't see myself getting a coyote, man. I mean, I thought I did before, but YouTube wise, man, I don't think so. Um, it'll either be between a Termi and a C6, man. And I can't see myself spending 20 plus grand on a 20 year old car, man. And for it to be slower than a C6. So. Ah uh, man, I think I'm gonna go LS on this one. And then my boy Chris Hu came through with some nice, nice questions. How long have you been wanting to do YouTube? 
This is a good question. I've been wanting to do YouTube probably since I was about 12, man. I've always just watched YouTube, love YouTube, and I've always like watched gaming channels and stuff like that. Me and my cousin used to like, you know, act like we had a uh, gaming channel and stuff like that. And you know, I've been wanting to do YouTube my whole life. And for you guys that are wondering and always asking me, uh, should I do a channel? What is the first thing I could do? All my number one thing is to say is go out there and just do it, man. Because I never thought I'd be sitting here right now talking to you guys on this freaking big ass camera. But you know, I just did it, and you know, I started growing a following. And you know, it's one of the best things in my life right now. So I want to thank you guys all for that. If you guys ever want to start a YouTube, man, just go do it. Um, stay consistent, and you know, just be yourself, man. And you know, followers will come. I promise you that. Do you ever plan on making videos of you playing games? And this is another thing I kind of wanted to do. I kind of wanted to start doing this because me and my friends play Call of Duty all the time, man. And they are freaking hilarious. Um, I streamed a couple times on here and some of you guys got bent out of shape because I wasn't posting regularly uh, car content. I was just streaming uh, COD. So um, I kind of want to start a second channel, like 4.6 plays or 4.6 um, gaming or games or something like that, man. And, you know, just start uh, recording all the time, maybe montages. I'm not that good, but I'm decent. Um, but, like, you know, just funny moments with my friends and stuff like that. I think that would be pretty cool. And, you know, I would love to do that. And who are your biggest inspirations? Uh, inspirations, like, um, life-wise, man, for sure, my pops. My pops is my number one inspiration. He's my role model for sure, man. My dad taught me how to hustle. My dad taught me how to, you know, be a man at an early age. And, you know, my dad has been a like big impact in my life, man. Um, I came from nothing, to, to be honest, guys. I don't really talk about it a lot. Maybe I will uh, if I get bigger and you guys start wondering and stuff like that. But, you know, we came from nothing. And, you know, we actually have something now. So it's nice to, um, you know, it's nice to look back at where you came from and, you know, be appreciative of that. Um, all glory goes to God for sure. And, you know, and my pops for sure. Because, man, he's a hustler and he, you know, he taught me how to work for my money. Um, a lot of you guys are thinking like YouTube pays a lot of money, man. Um, I live here with my dad and you know, I got big life changes and events um, for me because um, I'm 20 years old, man. I'm still living with my parents and a big goal for mine was to like have my own house by the time I was 21 or 22 and um, you know, it just didn't work out that way. So um, I'm very independent. You know, I make my own money. I pay my own stuff. Um, I want to be able to have my own stuff. I want to be able to have my own living room. I want to be able to have my own garage, you know what I mean? Um, you know, just take this YouTube to a next level and you know, I got some big life-changing events I will let you guys know when that when those things happen um, You guys are gonna be along for the ride for sure So yeah guys, that's gonna go ahead and do it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching Thank you guys so much for all, the, all your questions if you guys want to drop uh, some more questions for the next Q&A drop them down below for sure um, And we'll get to you guys on, on the next Q&A video or if you guys want to go follow me on Instagram You guys will see I'll put up a, like a question poll Put all your questions in there and I'll compile them and put them in one video. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for the video. Thank you guys so much for all the continued support, man. Please drop a thumbs up down below if you guys enjoyed it. Much more videos on the way, man. Track videos, racing videos, all kinds of stuff. Stay tuned, man. I love all you guys. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. We'll see you guys next time. It's your boy, 4.6 Chris. Later, man. Peace. Every day